So we know that we can do uh, use computational chemistry to calculate coefficients from each atomic orbital in our molecule to see how they will contribute to molecular orbitals. But we, we get a lot of molecular orbitals out, out of our mole, uh, in our molecules. So which molecular orbitals are really doing the work when we talk about reactivity? Well, as it turns out, people have thought a lot about this, and it's given rise to a line of thinking called frontier molecular orbital theory. And sometimes people just say FMO, but something it's frontier molecular orbital theory. So the idea behind frontier molecular orbital theory matches how we think about the chemistry of a lot of our molecules. If, if you look back on all of organic chemistry, very often we have molecules, there are two, two main roles, I would say, for a molecule. A molecule can be a nucleophile or a molecule can be an electrophile. Great, so two roles. So how does this help us in molecular orbital theory? Okay, well, if a molecule acts as a nucleophile, it's electron rich. And it is reacting through a filled orbital. Which particular filled up, filled orbital, it's going to be the highest energy. filled orbital. So if we want to find out how our nucleophile is going to behave, we just need to look in our list of molecular orbitals and find the orbital that has the highest energy and yet contains electrons. And this orbital has a name. We call it the HOMO. It's called the highest occupied molecular orbital. And when I say highest, I mean the highest energy occupied molecular orbital. Now the electrophile, we do just the same thing. Uh, electrophiles, we consider them to be electron poor. So they act as electron acceptors. What orbitals can accept electrons? Well, these are going to be the vacant orbitals. And which vacant orbital is most important? Well, it's the lowest energy vacant orbital. energy and we call this special orbital the LUMO it's the lowest unoccupied MO so frontier molecular uh, frontier molecular orbital theory you're going to hear the terms HOMO and LUMO a bunch so we have a molecule and here's just some arbitrary energy axis, and we have lots of orbitals in our molecule. We're gonna have a bunch of them filled, and it's some vacant, and this would be the highest occupied molecular orbital, the HOMO, and this would be the LUMO, the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital. So this is an important idea. So when we look at these molecular models, and the model spits out tons of orbitals in our structures, what we really need to focus on are two specific orbitals. In general, it's these two orbitals right here, the HOMO and the LUMO. So these are terms we need to be familiar with and we're going to encounter as we look at molecules through this lens of frontier molecular orbital theory.